Hello everyone, I am live again. I was uh, away for a few days, that's why I have not been uploading for a couple of days. Um, even though a lot has been happening, um, I was in, uh, I was traveling in Spain with my job, so, and I had a, a very enjoyable game with Achilles of the Spanish national WTC team. Um, and then I was in the mountains for a few days, so completely offline. Which meant that all the hubbub of the newest uh, FAQ uh, passed me by completely, more or less. Um, but there, there have been a few things happening which I uh, wanted to comment on. Um, and um, some of it is to do with the um, WTC. They have released uh, a pack and they have started doing uh, live uh, feedbacks or live fat for the WTC, which is, is really nice. And some of it has to do with the actual Warlord Games pack. So let's start with uh, the uh, WTC. Now, the WTC, they were asked about um, something that, that also was included in the latest fact, the fact that suddenly it looks like um, if you're bringing Brits, for instance, uh, and you're running Indian Brits, you get both the, um, the man, um, manpower of the empire, what is it, what's it called, where you get a free unit, and you get the free f uh, artillery observer, and you get all the special rules, right? Um, that was in the latest FAQ, and a lot of people have been um, uh, not happy about it. I, I know the Scottish have um, simply said that uh, in all tournaments in Scotland, uh, they are going to use... You, uh, a rule that says you can only have one free unit per army list, um, which I think is fair. And I know that the WTC is thinking about this as well. Although going off the books on, on something that's actually in a, a War of Games fact, oh, that. So there is problem here with the WTC. And that fact uh, answer was uh, while completely right according to the rules, maybe not very beneficial for the game itself, because, um, well, it's just, if you're playing a thousand point game and your opponent is bringing, bringing 1200 points, it's, just, it's not very fun, is it? So so that that thing happened. And, uh, and then I read through the fact and I saw a lot of comments online. And one thing that, that I will notice is that with the latest fact, it looks as if um, the, the whole debate about shirkers and their morale has finally been settled. Warlord Games simply stated openly that um, shirkers, their morale is affected, even the, the counting of when they run away is affected by the amount of pins and the shirker rule which means that you're going to need way less pins to get a unit of shirkers to run away um, than you did before, which should mean that the whole meta is going to change now. At least from my perspective, what I've been saying in all my previous videos from this one, um, I have recommended several times shirkers as a thing, um, something that was really... Uh, became apparent to me when I, I saw how the Spanish and the Germans um, were playing their shirkers. Um, large units, full strength shirkers, because then you get to re-roll the, 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 um, the dice all the time because you're full strength, and then the shirkers doesn't matter, it just gives you like a, a huge discount. Um, but that, that has all gone away now. Um, I think shirkers are out. Um, that they, they are just being punished severely if you pick shirkers now. So I think for most of us, uh, bringing shirkers will not really be an option that you'll see much anymore. It it just it goes away with this uh, ruling by Warlord Games. So that was interesting. Um, it changes up the meta, which is is good. 
and it also settled something that that many of us felt like was a little bit weird that shirkers were suddenly all of the, all the rage and very popular and very competitive because they were strapped back shirkers right um so so that happened and then uh, one more thing that i think we should take notice of in the latest faq is that the panzer 3 has suddenly gotten good and it's gotten really good actually um and and for very very few points it suddenly has the option of buying an extra coaxial mmg for five points that is six shots six because it's a german um vehicle right so it has the um uh, hitler's boss soul special rule six shots for five points now if people buying um lmgs and mmgs for their infantry aren't crying now i don't know when you will be because that is insane six shots for five points and um, there is no reason not to get this upgrade and uh with this i think the uh, panzer 3 uh, is a serious contender to be the best tank in the german list the other serious contender is of course the polizei tank um these two are now very good and and can sort of go head to head with um with the stewards of the allies so germany has a tank that's good it's not a medium tank but it's pretty good um and because it's in the turret it's the coaxial so it can actually shoot all the way around really cool right so that was the latest faq and my takeaways from it there wasn't much because the, there wasn't much changed actually there was a few things that that um, like popped up but most of it was just new vehicles and and a few minor changes tweaks nothing nothing that really changes up the game uh, but the uh, the shirker rule does and the panzer 3 will mean that we see a lot more panzer 3s in on table i think so that was it for me today. Bye.